the causes of the American Revolution. There were so many that we could choose from. Bada bing, bada boom, realest dude in the room, bow tie guy and wife here to help you out with the causes of the American Revolution. Miss Horton, what in the world are you doing? Well, Mr. Horton, what does it look like I'm doing? Is that a beehive? No! Ah, uh, don't be such a baby. And remember, white women never make history. I'm not being a baby, but oh, look, you've got bees all around you. Let's get out of here! Man, oh man, am I so glad to be away from that. Mr. Horton, we have a question. What caused the American Revolution? There were many causes of the American Revolution. The French and Indian War was fought from 1754 until 1763 between the British and the French. Native Americans helped the French, but England eventually won the war in control of the Ohio Valley and land east of it. Ooh, listen to this. To offset the cost of the war, King George III taxed the American colonists. The British imperial policy was to firm up King George III's control over the 13 colonies. What are you doing? Ow! Well, the British imperial policy was King George III's way of showing that he was the boss and the 13 colonies were going to follow his rule. <laughs> Whoa, I've got to get a picture of this. The Stamp Act was an unpopular tax that the colonists had to pay for government stamps required on paper goods. The Boston Massacre was a public skirmish between British soldiers and protesting colonists. After insults and snowballs were thrown, five colonists were shot and killed. Paul Revere incited anger against the British with an engraving that incorrectly displayed British aggression against the colonists. You can't do that in here! Propaganda like this was used to persuade the public that independence from England was necessary. Thomas Paine wrote Common Sense, which is a pamphlet about his opinion about why it was necessary to break away from England. The pamphlet was easy to read and was simple for the colonists to understand. Groups like the Sons of Liberty publicly and sometimes violently protested the taxes. They thought the taxes were unfair. Mm. The Boston Tea Party was a protest led by the Sons of Liberty, where they dumped hundreds of chests of tea into the Boston Harbor to protest a British tax on tea. No taxation without representation. Hey, send me a little warning next time. Gee whiz! No taxation without representation became the largest complaint of colonists. Colonists thought that since they did not have representation in the British government, that they could not and should not be taxed. And that wraps up our causes of the American Revolution. Whoa, 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 Mr. Horton, wait a second. The Daughters of Liberty were American patriots from all different regions and of all different ages. They were willing to do whatever it took, including acting outside the law, to end British rule. The Daughters' activities involved producing homemade alternatives to imported goods in order to reduce Americans' dependence on Great Britain. Wow, that is fascinating. But what about the African Americans who fought and died in the American Revolution to protect the freedoms that we have today? The first patriot to die in the American Revolution was Crispus Attucks, a runaway slave. Then bang, the shot heard around the world started the American Revolution. How in the world can a shot from a gun be heard around the world? Oh, that's easy. Not from the gun. The influence, the significance. What a powerful moment at Lexington and Concord. Shots were fired and the American Revolution had begun. Thank you so much for watching. Connect with us. Check out our Teachers Bay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. See ya.